AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. AZ1 TV, let's get interactive on our social media platforms. Connect with us on Facebook and YouTube via AZ1 TV. Write something cool for us to read on WhatsApp. The number 057-239-9871. Tweet us at AZ1 TV and follow us on Instagram at AZ1 underscore TV. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. Hi viewers, welcome to another special edition of Sports Connect Live here on AZ1 TV. My name is Christian Chiboise, call me AZ for short. Glad to be here with you and it's another special edition like I said. And today on the show we're talking tennis live from the whole tennis court. If this is the first time you're watching us, kindly like our Facebook page and follow us on YouTube, just get to subscribe on our YouTube page and follow us on all other social media handle on Instagram is AZ1 underscore TV and on Twitter is AZ1 TV. So as I was saying, we're talking tennis on the show today. Over the weekend, Black Stars legendary player, the highest goal scorer as far as an African country or an African player is concerned at the FIFA World Cup. Asamwajan aka Baby Jet, he was in Ho as a special guest of the Ho Tennis Club Homecoming. And he played two exhibition games live here at the Ho Tennis Court. First against Mr. Cyril Banza, who is the chairman of the Ho Tennis Club. And secondly, he got to watch one of the highest ranked players in the country and the highest ranked player from the Volta region for that matter, Joseph Nasser Bata. And he got so interested in how he played on the tennis court and he called him for a friendly game on Sunday, which was the next day. And on Sunday, they played together at the end of it all. It was a Samoajan beating our best player in the Volta region by 2-1 in the best of three series. Today on the show, I'll be speaking to the highest ranked player in the Volta region, the number one for that matter, Joseph Nassau Bata. He's my guest. We're going for a short break. And when I'm back, we talk to him. And I believe you enjoyed this particular interview. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. AZ1 TV. Let's get interactive on our social media platforms. Connect with us on Facebook and YouTube via AZ1 TV. Write something cool for us to read on WhatsApp. The number 057-239-9871. Tweet us at AZ1 TV. And follow us on Instagram at AZ1 underscore TV. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. Spears Nation. Lipcom. Five. Hey, yo, Lipcom. Scanning, sir. What if you wave this? What if you wave this? Is that it's over the man, then? Ocha. Kikiki. Jory, baby. She been by me sorrow. I wear a ruku ya kwa jakwa to ba mu e koro. She been by me. I fell by me sorrow. Tell my mommy. Hey, tell my mommy sorrow. I fierce. I fierce. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. Welcome back, still life here on AZ1 TV, and this is Sports Connect coming your way. Before the break, I told you we're talking tennis and we live from the whole tennis court. My guest today is Joseph Nassel Bata, aka Joe B. He's the man of the moment after playing with ex Black Stars captain Asamoajan, aka Baby Jet. Without wasting much time, let me introduce him. I call him Joby. Joby, how are you doing? I'm fine. Sure, you're fine? Yeah, I'm cool. Ha ha have you recovered from uh, the weekend's defeat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've recovered. I've what, recovered. What was he a painful one? Oh, not really, not really. I just give the game out, so I'm, I'm cool with that. It's, yeah, it's just a cool thing for me to do, so. 
he said he gave the game out we'll talk about it well if you actually didn't follow he played against Asamoah over the weekend he lost to Asamoah in the best of three series by 2-1 how did he lose how did he lose that game we'll talk about it on the show but for now let's get to know more about Joseph Nassau Bata he's currently the 39th ranked player as far as tennis is concerned in Ghana and in the Volta region here yeah, he's the top ranked player in the Volta region Joseph tell us more about yourself uh, uh, you said it all um, I was part of the national team uh, but currently have not be is stable to yeah, be before we talk about the national team let, let's talk about yourself where you come from what you do uh, how you fell in love with tennis all right okay um i'm from i'm Fuega in the volta region and um i live in hole uh, i grew up in hole i started playing tennis at the age of 16 and then for a long time now, I've, I've been playing, but I started as a ball boy. I was picking ball for the big men. Anytime they are on the court, I play. After after picking ball for them, I play myself, hit against the wall, and I go. So as time goes on, um, I get to in touch with um, Mr. Butabuama. That's the, the person that introduced me to the uh, to tennis. And then I was part of um, national unity games that they called that was in 2011 the record is there uh, I played that was my first exposure I played and then from then I started playing I, I took part in the national tennis tournaments and the rankings that was how come I joined the national team and I'm part of them now and I'm still in it even though I've not been playing for quite some years now about seven good years now because of work uh, currently I'm a waiter at a fast food joint here right here in whole Volta region KCS downtown that's where I'm working now I'm a waiter there so because of work I've not been having time to train myself and then do other activities for the game and then before even the tournament that happened recently like three days back I was not really fit to play the game but because uh, it's Asamoah I felt okay. I have to give me a good game because I was injured about five months back. Were, were, were you told you'd be playing as Samoa Jan before that Sunday? Were you told that uh, during the homecoming you'll be playing against a Samoa Jan? No, 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 no. You didn't even know. I didn't. But you just wanted to prepare for any outcome. Yes, yes. I didn't know I'll be playing as Samoa Jan, so I didn't even prepare playing as Samoa Jan. I don't even have the mind that oh, even when he comes and then he, he feel like playing, maybe. I'll play with him. I didn't even know that I'll be playing him, but it was noted down that he's playing against the chairman of the club. So me myself, I was surprised when he said he wants to play me because he saw me play uh, one of the members on the court, and then he was like, he, he said, "Wow, I'm a good guy." So he wants to he feel like playing with me, but I can't say no because I'm not very fit. For about five months, I've stopped playing, and then it was only Thursday. Before the game started on the, the game was played on Saturday, Saturday, but I trained for only two days. That was Thursday morning and Thursday evening, and then Friday morning. That was the only time that I have to train because of work. And then that Thursday was my off day at work, so I was able to train the whole day and then also train on Friday to get myself ready for any outcome. And lo and behold, I I was called for a match, and I I can't reject. It's cool because uh, I feel like okay, it's an honor playing with a black uh, star former skipper. And then uh, if you say you come, you don't play him, maybe it feel like embarrassing. And, and then so I just feel like let me give him a good game. And so the game started, and then we we'll talk about the game. Wait, first of all, we'll talk about the game. Let's talk about your injury first. What is the problem? Oh, I was having an elbow. elbow injury elbow injury i was training and I was, I was training when i wanted to hit a ball and i didn't hit it well and then i had an injury so the doctors told me that i have to rest it for like three months but after three months when i resumed training i felt like i was still, still feeling the pain. pain 
So I said, okay, let me give myself another two months. So for the two months, I have not been playing. Uh, I was just around going, come and watch, maybe guide people, those who want, like, if you are not doing something well, I just give you a guideline, do it this way, do it, do it this way. Then I leave. So that was how it's happened. Let, let, let's talk about, you said Mr. Buama actually introduced you to the game. Uh, is, he, is he also your manager or do you have a manager? Actually, I don't have a manager. I don't have a manager. But before, um, okay, that was after the Yam Festival tournament. That was last year. Uh, a tennis player also on the court, but he's now a, in the U.S. Uh, he wanted to manage, manage me. Uh, that's a uh, Peter Akbe. He wants to manage me, but like he flew out of the country. But we are always in touch. But I'm not hearing anything from him now because he's now getting himself to like to settle down well, and then whatever it is, then he will pick it up from there. But I'm just praying that maybe I get a manager, and then everything maybe probably will work out for me well because I'm not having manager now. Or You're I'm doing I'm, everything on your own. Yes, I'm my own coach. I'm my own coach. I'm my own. I'm my own self. I train myself. I play my own game. You do well, I, I do my everything. When when the, the the mind like when it flash into my mind that oh, Joe play this way, play this way, play this. That's how I train myself. So that's how I also use it to train to impart in others. About half of the club or seventy percent of the club, I train them all. I train them all. Gr growing up as a as a child, growing up like. Did you see yourself that oh, at the end of it all, my favorite game would be tennis? Was tennis your favorite game or you had other sports in mind before finally you find yourself in tennis? Yeah, football was my favorite. You play football? Yeah, I play football. As a striker, which, which role? As a defender. Wow. As a defender. I played two. Okay, yeah, right back. right back. So football was my favorite. Uh, back in school. Uh, I was a sports prefect from the GHSS, SHSS. I was a sports captain. Which we school did you attend? I attended uh, St. George's Anglican from uh, GSS, and then from there I moved to St. Prospect's College, okay. right here in Ho. Yeah, Pro School. So I was a sports prefect, wow. and then um, after that, before uh, I will even complete the the school. I've been playing tennis and still be playing football. Okay. But then nobody was on the tennis court that uh, like is having a competitive like with me or like there was no competitive player then. Like there was no competitive player then. People so play for fun. People just play for fun. But I see it as oh, this is a, a good game. Career. Career. And then um where I decided to play tennis was the first exposure that I was given to travel to Accra to go and play the National Unity Games. That was in that was 2011. 11. That was when I find myself that, hey, I can do this, I can play. But then when I went there, they were surprising a guy from Volta region to represent the uh, Volta region. They feel like the, the, the Volta region, they don't have anybody, nobody's here. So they were all surprised. So I was even, I was in the uh, Daily Graphic. I was there, I was captured then that I played against one of the strong guys that that, that uh, like that time the guy was a uh, ranked national is he number 15 or 17 I played against him that time that was my first exposure, exposure. Wow. so I was and then everybody was like amazed the way I played the guy even though I lost but they were all like amazed that I played well. Just like the way you played in Asamoah saw you that Charlie, yeah. this guy. It seems you carry some favor of God on you. Anytime you play, people get to see like this guy has something. But uh, quickly, the game of tennis, people say it's one game that is very capital intensive. Uh, things are expensive. Tell us the racket here, the balls here. Is, is it true? Tell us more about the equipment. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, an expensive game. Or this kind of rackets if you want to get it a fresh fresh you yeah. can get like new one you can get like thousand thousand five racket racket it's thousand five thousand Ghana. yeah yeah but slightly used you can get it 400 500 for 
you to be just using it to manage yourself. The tennis ball like this, three in account is like 30 cities. Three in account, you can get 30 cities. Yes, and it's fresh. Okay. And it's also good. Wow. So like, uh, a lot of things. Uh, maybe the footwear, maybe... The footwear, how much? The footwear, you can get the three. And that's now we have special footwear for footwear. tennis. Yeah, yeah. Not just any footwear. Not just any footwear. You can get the 300 cities, 400 cities. It depends on the brand. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the brand. Wow, interesting. Okay, so talking about the best tennis player that inspires you, for me, my favorite player is Roger Federer. What about you? My favorite player is uh, Rafael Nadal because I like his play, not because he is too good, but like his style of play. I just like his style of play. But um, Roger Federer, I play single hand because Roger Federer is my favorite. He also plays single. He, he, he also, uh, Roger Federer plays single backhand single because, backhand, okay. yes, because I like his play because uh, it's of his backhand. But my favorite, my favorite is Rafael not Nadal. Rafael Nadal. So, so you learn from these two icons? Yeah, I learn from these two icons. Wow. Going forward, would you love to meet any of them? Especially your favorite player? Yeah, that would be very glad. Uh, that would be a, a big dream that will come true for to me to meet Rafael Nadal one day. That would be a big, 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 big dream to come true. Okay, viewers, you still live here on Easy One TV. This is Sports Connect coming your way from the whole tennis court. And I'm actually speaking with Joseph Nassau Bata. He's the top ranked player in tennis in the Volta region, 39th in the country. Joby, le let's talk about tennis in Ghana. How will you describe the state of tennis in the country? Uh, tennis in Ghana. Tennis in Ghana actually is no. Uh, to me, it's been a long time that like I've been into um, le the national issues because I'm not currently. I'm, these days, I'm busy, so I'm not checking things, and I'm not like uh, things are a bit slow. Yeah, things are a bit slow for now because of the COVID issue. So for now, because of the COVID issue, things are not moving as it was. Like we how, how was it? Was it was everything going on well? Do you like the state of tennis in the country? Going forward, what new changes do you want to see as far as tennis is concerned? Okay, tennis Ghana in Ghana generally right now. Um I will be happy if uh, uh, tournament days are times are approaching and then they let us know okay they always give us time brain that this is when you play we like play like we play sort of yeah we have a calendar for the tennis that's six times in a year you play so six tournaments in a year yeah a year so that's after every two months we go for tournaments okay. so that's um every two months till the year ends okay. we go for tournaments so that's six times in a year so even if you are not able to meet those ones at least before the year ends you should be able to take part in it but because uh, of sponsorships you go for tournaments you have to you have to register before you go and play a tournament as a national player you have to register again before you go for tournament ah it's very bad it's not good. But when you talk about registration how much are we talking now about here it's not huge but like you have to register like at least 30 cities or 35 cities to take part in a tournament before you play and then even if you start playing the game at first but now i don't know how it is now at first you play only single set at first you play only single set but i learned now they are doing it best of three sets for even round of 64 we normally start from round of 64 okay. to the to the, to the top finals. to the top yeah so it's always that's how it moves but for me if you are going for a tournament you don't have uh, like say maybe um they'll provide you uh, water uh, food and those stuff before you play and those things no there is nothing like that there is so no you, prize money so no prize money nothing no. you just go play and you are being ranked yes, so no you want those money. things to change yes no prize money even it, it should there should be a what about a trophy yeah there is a trophy there is a no trophy. money no money they should add yeah, money there is no money in the trophy yeah, okay. you are just playing to go and take a trophy and make a name that oh you've won this um 
uh, this tour, this is the first tour or the second tour, the third tour. Okay, this was the guy that won it. That's it. You just take a name and then that was, that's, that's all. And it's not a good thing. So you want motivation? Yes. Motivation is what Joe B is talking about. So the tennis fraternity should look at it and come with a juicy way of making tennis interesting. I believe that is what you want to communicate. Yes, that's what I want to communicate. Because that makes it me, me for instance, right now, um, I would like to resume my national my tennis career back again. That's next year. I'm preparing towards it. But I want to see those changes in it because that like it, it did not motivate me when I stopped playing. That the like uh how do I even explain this? Um it's break me down. It makes me not to concentrate on the game that okay I want to force and then move up because there is nothing that there is nothing there that will motivate Motivated. you to play. That's why you have to go and look for your own work. Yes, you are not being paid as a national player. Let's say this is tennis, but let's say football for instance. If a national figure is coming, do not this is a national figure that is coming. But whole Volta region right now here, nobody knows, uh, nobody knows me. That I'm even a tennis national player, and nobody knows me. I wake up, I bath, I go to work, I do my own work, I go to work and, and come back, come and train on my own. I have no coach, I have nobody to support me, and I, I'm, I'm just there, like that. I force myself to go and play tournaments, and I've made, right now I said that, okay, because I was the only Volta guy that took part in the national tournament, so I'm being named that, okay, the only Volta player that take part in the national ranking, and I'm now 39 in Ghana, currently 39 in Ghana. Do, do you have other tennis players from the region that are also ranked aside you we have tennis players in the region yeah like but but they are not ranked no they are not ranked because they've not gone for the tournament okay. so you are the only guy from volta region wow. that went for the tournament because if for instance you are a tennis player right now and you leave for the tournament in accra whilst you are playing and you enter into the draw the main draw and you are being ranked that that ends it you are no longer a social tennis player. Any tournament at all that is coming and social people are playing, yeah, when they see you there, they will walk you off the court because your standard is higher than their standard. Okay. So you will not be allowed to play social tennis. So whenever tournament is approaching, as like a Sogli festival tournament, I, they don't allow me to play. So all that I need to do is to uh, like train, train others for the game empire. or become an empire. But if there is an exhibition match, they allow me to play with maybe if the visitors are around or if there are any other national guys among them that like is in, they will allow me to play with him. That is the only way. Aside that, they don't allow me to take part in the activities because I'm a, a ranked player. That right now, about seven years back, they still give me that name because they have been ranked already, but I've not been playing ranked in tournaments, but still I'm being ranked as a national player. And then Volta region, I have not met anybody that is competitive to me that to challenge, you. challenge me if we want to play real tennis. I don't see anybody. I, I, I don't have any good challenge. So do you, so think, do, do, do you think this is one reason why mo most of the times great talents from the region, they end up going to other regions like Accra, Kumasi, a volleyball like this you see we, we have good volleyball players but no competitive nature of uh, volleyball competition you, if you take a look at the national team most of them are volunteers it's not just volleyball almost all our sporting discipline do you think there's one reason because in the Volta region we are not doing enough to keep our best athletes yeah that's enough reason for me that's for me because you see the people are there, they have the talent, they have the composure that, okay, this, this is what they do. But nobody is there to support them. And it's bad. You see, this, this talent should not die in the country. Because if it's not because of a Samoajan's issue right now, nobody knows me. Seriously, nobody knows me. I'm just Joe and I'm going and I'm, I'm coming. Nobody knows me. But like then, right now, as at this point in time okay people are getting to know me this is what i do this is what I, I am and this is what i'm representing could you believe that my dad my dad my own father did not even know that i'm a ranked national player wow. he just feel like i go for tournament and that's it is he in who here 
Yeah, he was he was here to watch the game. Yeah, he was here. He was even cheering me up, and he was surprised seeing me play that way because that was the first time my dad like has watched you play me play. Not Only yes, you play tennis, but yeah, not because of like he wants to watch me play game because Asamoajan is his favorite, so he wants okay. to come and watch Asamoajan played against his son. So he was just excited. Hey, baby jets, yes. you do all. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. All right, so we're still live here at the whole tennis court. This was where Asamoajan played against Joe B. Asamoajan actually sat here as a special guest. Joe, you, you said your dad was here on Sunday to watch you play for the very first time. Yeah, my dad was around. He was here. And then, I was feeling like watching his son play against his favorite best player. Yeah, he was so surprised and then well, like, he was amazed watching me play against Asamoajan. He was so excited. It was like he was cheering me up. He was cheering Asamoajan up. He was cheering both sides up. And then he was just happy. He didn't even notice how the game ended, but later he, he got was just out. happy. He was just happy that you are playing as a Mojang. He has never seen you play. No, 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 no. He has wow. never seen me play. Well, let, let's let's talk about Jan. What he did here on Saturday and on Sunday with his performance. What, what do you have to say about that? Uh with his, his performance now, uh, he's learning. He's up and coming. He should just keep it up. He's uh, he's a good player. Uh, tennis player. He's a good tennis uh, tennis player. Uh, he should just uh, have the uh, ability, the the strength. He's having the strength. He's having the stamina. He's having the energy. So I feel like he he can do something in tennis. Uh, so he should just keep it up and then train hard. But. Uh, technically, ten technically, technically, technically. What are his strong points? And his weak point that you noticed over the weekend? Oh, technically, uh, actually, about that side, um, when he serves, he normally runs forward to come and volley. But I know with a lot of experience that I have and much experience that I have, whenever you are running to the net, there is a lot of space behind you. So I just place the ball beside him and then that's it. So at a point in time, he stopped coming to the net. He stopped running to the net. He just be at the base. Then we play, and then we move on like that. Okay, so those were some of the technicalities you, you noticed. John, John made it clear that he's actually not playing as a competitive player. He's playing to keep himself fit and everything. But from the look of things, if John should be ranked as a national player, do you think he will be at the top 10, top 5? Oh, uh, For now, no. For now, no. He, he needs to do more work to, he needs to do more work before he can be able to run uh, i doubt if you'll be able to even make it into the the main draw yeah because before you be ranked you have to uh, be in the main draw you have to enter the main draw wins a couple of matches before you can be ranked as a, a national player yeah. yeah you cannot just come and play one game or two games and then you do a rank you know yeah so he said um he's actually investing into tennis this is what you you've been talking about people supporting what what what, what do you have to say about what jan is actually doing for for the tennis family in ghana yeah i'll be very happy and then uh, I'll be uh, so excited if he's able to um, impart, uh, like, put himself in the tennis tournament, like, games for us, like, uh, support us, in, uh, invest in it, pick some of us that are up, a, up and coming and very good, that are ready to play and then ready to l uh, live to the name of Ghana High. He, uh, I'll be very happy and so, so excited if he's able to do that. Now, let me give you the chance. Let's market whole tennis club. Whole tennis club. Tell us about whole tennis club. What goes on around whole tennis club? Every year you play a Sogli festival. This year no Sogli festival because of uh, uh, COVID-19. So it's now homecoming just for this year. I, I believe a Sogli festival tournament. The tennis tournament will be back next year if everything goes on well. But tell us about whole tennis club. Uh, whole tennis club. Uh, uh, normally every year. We take part in the, um, we do homecoming, uh, that's around March. But due to the COVID-19 this year, 
that makes us uh, not to have the Asogli Young Festival tournament because uh, we changed um, the COVID, uh, the homecoming. We we changed it to uh, uh, we, we push it to the Asogli Young Festival uh, day so that it will bring like the love of the club, like people to come back together, like to associate, and then some of us we don't know others from uh, either from the, the, the club so people are voterians or part of the club they are in other regions in other regions so they always come home we always come home so that we just have fun, have fun yeah. associate and then we, we, we pick it up from there and then the club the club is up and coming how many members how many members do you have in the club uh 101 members now as in the club now and then um not all that active because some are in Accra, some are in Ho. So it's only few. But uh, I would say a greater part is out of town. But the few that are, are like we are here, we, we do manage and then we play together, have our own fun and train. And then if the tournament is up and coming closer, then we contact the others to see if they are also training and if they, can, they come, if we can train ourselves and then play the games together that's when we do it okay so as i asked him personally he said he's always ready to give you a rematch whenever you're ready do you want a rematch against us yeah i want a rematch against us even if it's today you are ready i'm ever ready for Asamojan. So if Asamojan should say okay come over to accra let's do it in accra or probably as this base in accra or anywhere where do you want to play him i want to play him back here in Ho. You want to bring Jan back to home? Yeah, I want him to come back here in home. <laughs> Jan, I believe you're watching this one, and uh, let, let's see whether he will agree to actually come back to home. But if he should say come to Accra for the game, uh, actually, for now, I'm not prepared to travel to Accra. Do you to mind if you are you scared? No, no, no. <laughs> so why not prepared to travel? Uh, because uh, I have to put a few things together. To no, he he's come. What what are the few things? Is it money, sponsorship, or what? What do you need? Yeah, because of money issues, if I'm able to get accommodation and then he wants to sponsor my trip and then come. This why they mentioned Jan, Jan got you sorted out. I believe he's got you sorted out. I don't think that will be the problem. Jan has come during your homecoming. He's giving you the opportunity. And if he calls you for a rematch, I don't think that will be a problem. It's not. It's never a problem. I'm ever ready for him. Jan, Joby is ever ready for a rematch against you. We we'll still have it live, just like the way we have it live on Easy One TV. But quickly, uh, what are your plans for the remainder of the year? Uh, the remainder of the year. The year, because of COVID issue, is almost over. So all the plans that are for the year now is um, just um, organizing myself and organize a few uh, up and coming stars around, started training them to for me i'm resuming the national ranking next year so i want that in the case that when i'm going next year i'm carrying them along at least two guys two ladies carry them along for the tournament so that they also have the experience what about if you have more if i have more is is uh, having more is not a problem but it's just about the the financial aspects of it support support is all i need is the support if i get the support a lot of guys and up and coming stars are here i'm not the only one so i would like to engage them so that they also join and then become just like me uh, wh wh what do you think how many tennis clubs do you have in the volta region uh, and do, do you guys get to meet and play uh, probably a tournament each club bring his best players I, I believe from there we could get some good materials from each club in the Volta region. Uh, the only club we have in the Volta region is the whole tennis club. I, I understand there is one at Pando or Hohoe. No, no, no. That's not a club. It's just somebody's backyard, backyard training pitch. It's not a, a tennis club. Okay. The only club we have here in Ghana, Volta, Volta region. region, is here. Whole, whole tennis, club. tennis club. That's all. Okay. So if someone wants to come train at the whole tennis club, what do they need to do? All you need to do is to just get in touch with me. When you get in touch with me, I'll give you the go ahead, uh, the st uh, steps that you need to pick to become a member. Then we schedule the training, we get the training schedules, and then we we'll move it up from there. Then I'll know your training schedules, and I'll work also on it for you. Then you also become a member of the club. 
Okay. So if you want to be a member of the whole tennis club, come to the whole tennis court. They train every day, Monday to Sunday, right? Yeah. Every, every day. day. Every day. Morning. What to do is just shadow with the coach, and then you'll be training. Who's the coach? I'm the coach myself. Charlie Cochito, player coach for that matter. He's a player coach for that matter. And uh, you get to meet himself and he will actually give you time. If you want to train in the morning and you want to train in the evening, it's all possible. But how do you mix training and work? You work at KCS, right? Yeah. How do you manage your time? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's tiring, but uh, it's a sacrifice. I have to do it. Uh, for the love of the game for survive. yeah to also survive so i go to work every day like 12 p.m and close late in the evening 10 to 11. i get back i will have to wake up early morning go and train myself a little bit come to the court those who are around i have to help them to what to pick yeah. something to train them after that around 9 to 10 i have to i have to close get a little bit rest one hour two hours before showering and then going back to work again. So that's how I'm managing for now. Uh, so in the evening, schedules, unless my off days, that's the Wednesdays, that when I'm off, I train both morning and both in the evening. Those who are not able to come in the morning and they are able to come in the evening, they will see me and then I'll train them in the evening. That's Wednesdays. But Saturdays, Almost everybody is around. I train almost everybody. Anybody that's around is Saturday. I play with them. If you want to play with me, I give you. We play and then we move it up from there. Wow. Interesting. Interesting one. We'll, we'll pay him a, a surprise visit at KCS. Yes, that one exclusive. Probably we'll add it to this one. But he should just watch out. When are you going to work? We're going to work today? Yeah. We're going to work today. Okay. So probably we might add that particular one uh, to it. Kochi, for now, I want to play you. This one, me and you. What's yeah, up? Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <coughs> Hello. This is Joseph Nassel from Volta Region. Voter number one, as you were watching me, um, Ghana number 39. I urge um, uh, all those who are watching me right now to support me and then support others that are up and coming stars. Uh, I pray that those who are watching me right now, they can bring their kids so that they can come for training. A lot of things are going wrong in Ghana. Tennis is a nice game that we play and then uh, it's enjoyable in other countries you see that it's a game that you watch and then you appreciate and you see things come well but now like financial sites now in Ghana things are just down so if you are watching me right now anywhere in the country outside the country I urge you come and support Ghana tennis come and support Volta tennis come and support all the young young ones that taking part and uh, uh, they are put in their self in the game come and support us and then we can make a good name for the future i thank you all for listening and watching me thank you better be ready for what cuz we coming with you with fantasy my wolf back over everything that's yes they should know over anything but all of my yes why you think say we win everything Everybody let my my I'm a rookie. 
All right, so we're just back from a training section. Coach player Joe B took me through two training drills on that whole tennis court here. I really enjoyed it. If you stand a chance of finding any court nearby you in the Volta region or wherever you are, kindly train. It's very good for the body. I really enjoyed it and I'll be doing this frequently. This is our time could permit us today on Sports Connect. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Christian. Chip boys, they call me AZ1. If you want to come on board and sponsor, just inbox us and we're good to go. If you want to stream any live sports event, contact us and we are good to go next week we're back with another special edition i have to get back to the court thanks so much bye bye az1 tv let's get interactive on our social media platforms connect with us on facebook and youtube via az1 tv write something cool for us to read on whatsapp the number 057-239-9871 Tweet us at AZ1TV and follow us on Instagram at AZ1 underscore TV. AZ1TV, it's time to get connected. AZ1TV, it's time to get connected.